Burn. Hey everyone, so tonight I wanted to talk about Ekater's, uh, what I would consider to be Ekater's most accessible album, and that is the one and only High and Low. This was released on DHR a ways back in the late 90s, and I think that's actually one of my favorite aspects of this record, is this album sounds like it was made on a computer from the late 90s, and that really adds a lot of charm to this album and a lot of like history, I suppose, because as the 90s get further and further back, the sound becomes more and more vintage, and it, it seems to carry more weight and have a, a greater sense of scope as time goes by, or at least it does for me, because I know you could argue that this record, it, it sounds like it's made by a couple kids in a bedroom, which it was, so you can't really insult them with that. That was kind of the purpose. Patrick Catini, assuming I'm pronouncing his name, was a massive mainstay in the DHR camp, or stable, depending. And uh, he released a number of records. All of them were great. And he is, of course, half of Ecator, which was sort of like his, his principal band at that point. And this record's great. It's not just crazy and like a bunch of like digital noise-based madness like a lot of people assumed the uh, DHR was releasing at this point. There is a lot of fun, there's a lot of groove, there's a lot of melody, there's a lot of um, purpose tossed into these songs. It's This record's like punk as fuck, but at the same time, it's not senselessly chaotic like a lot of like digital releases back then were, and a lot of uh, digital releases could be, because it's easy to let a computer just go wild, because it's really just a matter of hitting a few keys, right? That wasn't what was going on here. This album, like I said, it feels like a complete package. The songs are fun. The songs are catchy. The only song in here that I'd say really goes nuts is the one and only High and Low, the remix, which I believe is track 15. Yeah, it is. It's track 15. I mean, Gimme NyQuil All Night Long is on here, and Gimme NyQuil All Night Long could have almost been like a single, and they could have competed with the Spice Girls, and no, they couldn't have. That couldn't have happened. And I don't think they really would have wanted it to anyways. I love, I don't know. I love how raw this record feels, but I love how much fun this record has. And I love how it doesn't take itself too seriously. And yet they do take the production seriously enough so that they're not just throwing a bunch of meaningless sounds together and throwing it out in the world. No, this record has a lot of purpose and it has a lot of form. And there's a, a lot of structure to each of the songs. And the songs are a lot of fun, and the record has a lot of bounce. But this record, of course, isn't for everybody, because this record does obviously sound like, like I said, like it was created on a computer in the late 90s. And it is crazy, and the songs are kind of abrasive, and the vocals are screechy and scratchy, not in an annoying, like, black metal way. More in the traditional sort of... I don't want to say that they are copying the Atari Teenage Riot, but I will say everybody from this scene had to stand up and take notice of the Atari Teenage Riot, regardless if they were on Empire's label or not. The Atari Teenage Riot were doing something really special, so I do find a lot of these bands will borrow from their sound, and Ecator is certainly no exception there. They do at times sound a lot like the ATR, but at the same time, they still maintain a sense of themselves, and they're, they, they have their own voices, and they're trying to get their own message across. And they do it incredibly well on this album. And like I said, I think this is probably their most accessible album, but digital hardcore in the word accessible, I don't know how well those two are going to really marry off together. But for me, I found this to be their most accessible record, as well as their most fun record and their catchiest record. So yeah, look, I'm going to go. So thank you so much for sitting with me while I discussed at Cater's The One and Only High and Low. If you liked this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. And even if you didn't like this review, you should still do something nice for somebody. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys later. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button, as well as the subscribe button, because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe, and we will see you guys really soon.